you can watch things that will cause your body to react to the thing you're watching, okay? Let me be brutally clear. If you watch the news, your body will react to the news you're watching, right? Matter of fact, you can, your body, your, your mind, just your mind is so powerful. Now, and if you get a hold of this, imagine, because the real power plant in you is your spirit. That's the, where the real power is. But if you can understand that your mind is so powerful, and if you get a good picture of how powerful your mind is, and then realize that your mind is nothing compared to your spirit, you get an idea of how much power is in your spirit. But just your mind is so powerful that it can literally cause you to develop symptoms that the doctors can't find a reason for. But they will have the symptoms, right? And they'll say, here's the symptom. Your temperature can go up. You can read about the flu and develop the symptoms of flu, and it's psychosomatic. I almost said it's all psycho. It's not all. There is flu. There is a thing called the flu, right? But you can study it, listen to it, hear it through repetition. And if you turn on the news, that's all you're going to get is repetition. And you will start to develop the symptoms even though the virus, and I'm not talking about the coronavirus, I'm just talking about influenza, flu, that kind, I'm just talking about in general. <clears throat> even though that thing is not present, your body will act like it will because your mind will start thinking in alignment with what you're hearing. This is a fact. This is called psychosomatic illness. But how many of you know, if you don't feel good, you don't feel good, right? People say, well, it's all in your head. Well, I don't care where it's all at. I still don't feel good, right? I mean, who cares where it's at? No, well, you have to realize you're a spirit, you have a body, you know, you live in a body, and you have a soul. All three of these are important to God. That's why he said, you know, that he would pray. Paul said, I would pray God keep you blameless, spirit, soul, and body, right? So all three are important. Now, for us, we've been teaching uh, divine healing for 30 years, and in the process, people think that we teach it too much. <laughs> yeah, how do you like me now? Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so all I'm saying is that uh, to a sick person, we've never taught healing too much, all right? But we also try to get people to grow to a place where they realize where the healing comes through. Now, the healing comes from God, but it comes through your spirit. And it comes out through, it has to be deciphered through your soul and then is exhibited through your body. So that's how the process works. Now, 